folks welcome back to kicking it with tim and the mechanic i'm tim joined as always by the mechanic brandon catino how are you doing today sir doing well man always good when i'm talking to you about some kickboxing that is absolutely right you got a new shirt today what are you wearing today i'm wearing the new kicking it shirt with my face and your face you know the two good looking guys on the network you know why not represent <laughs> That is absolutely correct. Link is down below for the Fighters for Shop, who makes sure that Kicking It is the uh, number one rated kickboxing show. Uh, I don't know, in the world, honestly, <laughs> at this point. Yeah. There's no doubt. Number one show on the network, number one kickboxing show on Earth. But Brandon, you got some big news for us. We've been a kickboxing show for a couple of, mm, quite a while now, actually. And finally, yeah. we've made it. June 18th, 2022, in the main event. Guess who has a fight? We got Brandon Catino. What's going on? Tell us all about this fight that we got coming up. It is going to be in uh, Gut Check, correct? Yes, yes, yes. The promotion, the promotion is called uh, it's called a Gut Check uh, a Championship Series. Uh, so there, it's down is down in Delaware. It's June eighteenth, which is a Saturday. Like I said, that's the same day that um, Infusion is doing a card. So basically, you can set it up if you guys want to have your energy drinks. You can you can watch uh, uh, Joanna Barr's fight. Then mm -hmm. then you can watch my fight, and then you stay up later, and then then you have the fight you know with tension versus uh takura happen that same uh you know day so say it's, it's a it's a it's gonna be a good day it's gonna be a good day for for kickboxing man it's so many good fights that day you got brandon catino headlining and then a bunch of bums fighting don't even look at that other stuff who know <laughs> who cares what's going on so uh, going forward like you're gonna be in training we're in the last little bit here we're you know uh, six six or so weeks away at this point what What's your schedule looking like? Like, how are you feeling with training? How's things coming along there? Hey, like I said, things are things are uh, things are going well. Uh, like I said, I got I usually I have my schedule really set. It was just, you know, like I said my my opponent is a lefty, so lefties are always a little tricky to find. Not you know you know you might not have so many in the gym, but mm -hmm. me, I'm actually blessed where I actually have three lefties that I can work with. Uh, you know, so. So, so that's also my main my main training partner who I was supposed to work with. He was out last week, so I had the so I kind of had to supply with two other guys. But I had two other guys who were willing to step in, help me out. So that mm -hmm. was good. Uh, they they definitely gave me some good rounds this past Friday. And then I have a kid uh, who I usually spar with on Monday. Uh, he 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 actually he's actually right handed, but but he can be a southpaw for me. So it's it's good it's good and plus, and plus he, he he brings the pressure so that way that way you know he kind of makes sure that my uh, my uh, gas tank is still there. This is wonderful to hear. So training is is going extremely well. What about when you were able to tell the family that I have a fight? How did, was that reaction from from your folks? Uh, I mean, really, kind of, kind of, kind of with everything that's been going on with with me and fights, they kind mm -hmm. of were just like, okay, you know, when when's the date? Let us know, okay. all right, you know, and just and just just let us know with tickets. Because like I said, you know, it's been it's been a trying time, you know, saying fight fights. I've had fights and then they fell through. So I think I think it's one of those things where like we're not really kind of waiting until maybe until it's like fight week and everything mm -hmm. is really going going well or like or like or like an Aljamain Sterling moment where like you step on the scales, you weigh in. And it's like okay, this is this is probably this is like really gonna happen now. Man, this is whew, man. It's not real until you're in there, right? Until you yeah. step in there, until you've made way. Tickets are still available for this one. Yeah, yeah. Actually, actually, um, I should be getting tickets this week. Okay. Uh, so I'm, I mean, I'm gonna try to set a record where I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to pack the house. Of course, man, tune up crew, please come on down if you can. But I'm gonna try to pack that house, uh, because I think I think the most tickets that that a fighter has ever sold was 120 tickets. So I'm gonna try to break that record on my first time ever fighting for gut check. So let's see what happens. Like I said, tune up crew. Come on out, baby. Get the merch. Represent. That's absolutely correct. Where can they get ticket? You're getting tickets this week. Where should they reach out to to buy tickets? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like I said, you get tickets from me. Just hit me up on the social media, man. Send me a DM on Twitter, Instagram. You know, uh, like I said, uh, I, I I should be getting them hopefully later this week. I think they just mailed them out on Saturday. So like mm -hmm. I said, it's coming from um yeah, it's coming from Delaware, so Delaware to New Jersey shouldn't shouldn't take that long. I should hopefully have them by Wednesday. And like I said, just reach out to me uh, if you want to get those tickets. But again, if you don't live in the states or you live out west, you know, and you're not coming here, you can still watch it online. You can stream it. I think it's I think it's FightClub.tv. I I know I know that's the Instagram handle. Um, I just don't know the exact website, but. I believe it's only uh, eighteen dollars 
Uh, so, hey, it's not that bad. You know, it's cheaper than Gloria, right? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so, yeah. So, well, and oh, we'll keep people up to date because we're going to have a couple more shows before the fight comes around. So, keep us up to date on uh, tickets and, of course, uh, where can we stream it. So, this is exciting times, man. You got it right there? Uh, no, actually, I don't because I got a whole bunch of other fights up. Uh, let me see. Fight yeah, yeah, I know. I got 85 things up on my screen right now. Today, we got a few things to break down. We are talking about Petrosian Mania that happened a few uh, nights ago. Uh, in upcoming, we have Infusion 106 and the Glory 80 studio event. So we're going to be talking about this and breaking it down as much as we can. Uh, but yeah, Petrosian Mania just two nights ago, Giorgio Petrosian gets a much needed win after the head kick KO loss to Super Bond, which... Uh, changed kickboxing really that was just one of the great knockouts in the history of the sport uh gets a much needed win against his opponent i've only seen highlights of it i haven't been able to find the whole fight it but from the looks of it Giorgio petrosian was bullying this young man to a second round stoppage what did you think what do you what did you think of the fight what have you been able to see for petrosian mania i mean this to me was just i mean as soon as i mean as soon as you saw the name of the show you're like this is a bounce back show uh, you know yeah. uh, uh you know a bounce back fight it's a tune-up fight for him you know so he can get back and that's really what happened man he was just playing with this guy in the first round he was dropping him like i think with a couple of sweeps uh front mm -hmm. kicks you know push that guy down and then boom second round he got the finish tko you know like i said it was a bounce back he looked he looked i mean he looked, he looked to be in good form uh, so let's see what happens uh, if he maybe gets that rematch with uh, Superman in one. See, and that's the next question: Is it, do you think he should be thrown right back in there? The thing is that he's he's not old in by any. I mean, in fight years maybe, but he wasn't showing a ton of signs of age before the super bond fight in that he still looked quite dominant. He looked good in fights, even though he is in his mid thirties at this point and lost for more than a decade. And even his last loss was kind of an insane upset when it happened a decade ago. Uh, he's still one of the all-time greats. He's got one win, but losing to Super Bond, certainly no shame there. You want to throw him right into the Wolves right away. It's such a good division. Why not give him a tour of some Shingy's Alizovs and some of these other guys? You just give him right back to Super Bond. I mean, me, I wouldn't, but I feel like one, I feel like one, I think one is like, oh, we have the name, we have the superstar. To me, it's like, if he's not the champion... What you got him for? I think that's I think that's their mindset. Like, yeah, to me, Chingy Alizar is next for the title, yeah. so him and Superbon should go. Mm -hmm. And I say Petrosian can either get he can either get um, Marat or he can get my boy Sidichai. So those are two options for him, you know, that he can fight. But again, you don't you never know what you never know what uh, a Chachi's uh, thinking. You know, like I said, because to me, like I feel like Petrosian, they're trying to have him just be the champ. Like he should be their champion. I think that's just one thing, just because he's such a, I guess you want to say a living legend in kickboxing, where it's like, yo, if this guy's not your champion, then what are you doing? Yeah, I, I think you're probably right about that. That they've certainly signed him to a contract where if he's not your main event, he, 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 it's not really worth having him on the roster. They're probably paying him quite a bit. I yeah. imagine he's one of the biggest names in kickboxing of the last decade. Um, I don't know. I don't think he beats Super Bond in a in a rematch. I, I, I think the thing is that. This is from speaking to Superbond in interviews and I'm writing about some interviews that he's done elsewhere. I don't know how motivated he is to rematch Giorgio Petrosian. I think in his mind, he's beaten him. And he says that he wants to move on and do other things. He wants to go get the Muay Thai championship. He wants to get an MMA championship. He says he keep, wants to keep moving up. It's almost like in his mind, I've beaten Giorgio Petrosian. I'm not going to do it a second time. What do you what do you tell Superbond to get him out of bed? He doesn't want to do this fight, basically. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's one. I mean, it's one of those things where it, you could be where again. It was in the first round. A lot mm -hmm. of people, like some people, think that it could have been a fluke, you know, that he got lucky. So that's where it's like, all right, you know, let me let you know, let me really try to prove the the uh, doubters wrong. But I mean, if Petrosian earns the right, like like you say, you know, he goes through a Marat, he goes through a Sidichai, you know, that's the, you know, that's two quality wins. You can't deny the man. It's true. That's true. At that point, absolutely. It's such a good division. God, if you, you know, one has literally done a good job with that kickboxing division. That one has just been absolutely exceptional. Anything else we want to say on Giorgio Petrosian, or should we move forward? Uh, I mean, just on him. I mean, I would like to know when when his next fight is. Like I said, it would be cool if it's if it's in one, or if he's going to keep doing these little side gigs in 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 his home country of like Italy to like you know praise him up. But I mean, hey, he sells out. So I mean. As long as he's making his money, you know, that that's always good for him. 
yeah, if someone offered me the same sort of thing where I'm the main event and people, my name is on the <laughs> the event, yeah, I'll show up to those kinds of things. And they're not um, they're not some of the greatest Thai kickboxers in the history of the world that he's fighting against. You know what I'm saying? Of like, yeah. you know, he's fighting some good people and getting paid for it. So we'll see what happens next for him. He'll probably be back at least once this year. Uh, but yeah, we'll see where it goes from there. Infusion 106, Saturday, May 14th. We wanted to do a breakdown of the Bantamweight Grand Prix, but from reading about it online, the draw is in a few hours. It's not, it hasn't happened yet. So we don't entirely know what the Grand Prix Bantamweights will be, unless you have some different news there, Brandon. No, I, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't know what, what's going on. Like I said, I mean, I already know who I'm rooting four or like or at least like for that for that four like i said um man why can't i remember his name right now um what I forgot, I i've forgotten so much it's been so long so much has happened in two weeks <laughs> yeah who, 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 who the four i mean we'll we'll we'll, we'll, we'll tell the people who, who the four guys in the tournament again yeah give me a second i have no idea <laughs> i've forgotten i delete my notes after shows <laughs> i don't know i'll check <laughs> Oh, I got it. Oh, wait, no. This is this. See, that's the thing, too, man. Some like Infusion be doing so many shows that they actually start promoting other shows as well. So I'm like, I already got somewhere. They're already promoting their May 21st show. I'm like, yeah, that's right. But we need right. to get to this one first. And I get because, it. Because, because I think on that one, on May 21st, they're doing a lightweight tournament. That'll be really good, too. That'll be really, really good. Yeah, they're doing a lightweight tournament. Uh, Infusion May 21. I want the May. 20th. That's May twenty one, but we want to talk about the one coming up on May fourteenth. We had it at one point. I'll put notes to edit this out because this is silly that we just have dead air and we can't. <laughs> I was trying to write it down. <laughs> Uh, we have Muhammad Simsek. We have Matthew Dwayne Penka, and we have Matthew Dalman, and then we have a fourth gentleman who, who doesn't have a name there, but you know, yeah, you know. Muhammad Simsek. Yes. that's that's who, that's who my pick is. Yeah, I, I agree with you on that because he, he seems to be getting the major push there. He's got a very good record coming into it. May 14th, four-man tournament. Uh, that'll be in Infusion. Make sure to check it out. That'll be a really fun one to watch. Also, in the uh, main event will be Mohamed Tushasi versus Gueller. That's going to be a banger of a fight. We did talk about it already, I believe. But, uh, eh, I mean, you're fighting pretty soon. Tushasi's fighting pretty soon. What do you think? Man, I'm dude. Just send me location. I'm ready for no. all comers, man. I'm telling you, it don't take it doesn't take much for me, man. Like I said, I'm about to I'm about, I'm, about, I'm about to get my passport redone, so 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 that way so that way I can travel overseas. Yeah. Like I said, man, I'll be I'll be set, man. I'm waiting for anybody, you know. After this fight, June 18th. Like I said, I'm not looking past my opponent. Uh, but like I said, after this, man, I'm I'm already I'm already trying to think about what what I want to do later on this year. Like I said, I'm trying to get some fights in, so Ooh. you know, we shall, we shall see what happens. Brandon, I am absolutely pumped for this. This is absolutely awesome. Anything else we need to cover off on Infusion before moving to the Glory 80 studio event? Nah, I mean, really, just really with this Infusion card, like I said, the really main thing is the is the band weight one, you know? So I think I think it's kind of funny how Infusion and Glory are working together, but on the same day, they have two shows going on at, like, the same time. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I noticed that, too, and I thought that was kind of... um. Like, man, you guys seriously need to start working together. Even just schedule it maybe an hour apart or something like that would be fine. However, we have the Glory AD Studio event on the same day, May 14th, Saturday, 2022. It, and it's a good card, too. I mean, the, the two main fights on it are quite good. If you did buy the event, you'll be able to get this event for free. If you didn't buy the event, uh, too bad for you is what I was told. So in the main event is the lightweight Glory Championship will be Tajani Betsani will be putting his title on the line against the Canadian born Josh Johnsy. This is a good fight. This is a really fun fight. I like this one a bunch. Both of them are coming off a couple of win streaks here and there. Both of them have taken hard losses. This is a rematch from earlier on where Tajani was able to win a decision, I, I believe in 2016. What do you think of this matchup? How do you see it playing out? What's next for these bad boys? 
I mean, I like it. Uh, like I said, I, I've been a, I've been a fan of Josh Johnson for a while. I kind of thought he would be next in line for the title shot. You know, I was kind of bummed when, when he apparently was leaving kickboxing to go do boxing, but then he said no. He was really kind of just taking a break, or or he wasn't really leaving. But hey, I'm just happy he's back in the fold. Uh, like I said, you know, we can, we, you know, we can, we can, we need, we need all the kickboxes that we can get out here. You know, a lot of people are kind of leaving, going on to other things, but. I'm a fan of this fight. Like saying these, these are probably really your two top guys in the lightweight division uh, mm-hmm. for glory. Um, I'm probably like, I want Josh, Josh, Josh John C to win, but I feel like he's been on such a layoff, a longer layoff than, than the uh, champion has. So I yeah. might really lean towards, towards the champ. Again, this plus two, like you said, you know, it was a decision last time. So I'm thinking this one probably will go decision again. Five rounds this time, because I think the first time they fought was only for three rounds. So this time now he'll have five rounds to work. So maybe Josh Johnson can pull it off uh, towards the end because 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 I want to say like he, he usually does have good cardio. I think uh, Bajani kind of sometimes does fade towards the end. So mm-hmm. I'm thinking that maybe Josh Johnson can catch him. Like, so I say I'm room I'm room for Josh Johnson. I want Josh Johnson to win. But like you said, the layoff. Uh, you know, a couple of things, you know, maybe, you know, maybe his infighting with glory might, you know, he might, he might, he might, might have his game off a little bit. I completely agree with you on that. I like Josh Johnson. He seems like a cool guy. I like that. He's from like, just kind of around where I grew up as well. But anytime I peel back a layer on this fight and analyze it, all roads lead to, to Johnny. And they've sorry, they fought in 2019, not in 2016. I, I think it, it, since their first fight, he's improved more in that time. And He's improved in ways that's going to help him a lot out in this fight. Josh Johnson is obviously a very talented fighter. Um, but yeah, both of them have taken hard losses along the way from very good fighters like City Chai, Merrick Gorian, uh, Elvis Gashi, uh, Josh Johnson lost to. I, I just think Tajani is the better fighter here. And this is a well-made fight. This is a good fight. This is a good contender fight. Uh, but yeah, but, but Zani all day. I, 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 I'm I mean... Yeah, plus two, I was gonna say, and plus two, uh, during all that time, uh, Bajani is now at a new gym, so he's not gonna fight the same way he fought Josh Johnson before, probably. You know what I'm saying? New gym, new, new, new style, new methods. Uh, Josh Johnson, of course, you know, he trains with his family, so I'm sure, I'm sure, you know, he's still doing the same things, you know, but I'm sure he probably still has, you know, you know, got, got himself better as well. But like you said, uh, to me, all roads is kind of leaning towards, uh, the champ. Absolutely. And what about that co-main event? Glory has the best heavyweight division on earth. And Antonio Plaza, bought the knockout striker from Korea, is someone who I'm so like, I, he, he, I love watching this guy fight. He is a Mr. All Violence. He's going to be fighting Tarek Kabiz uh, from Morocco, who is uh He's kind of fought everybody in the division from Roman curricula to, to Rico Verhoeven. This is a rematch from just, uh, was this their heavyweight Grand Prix or was this just a normal? Yeah. Match had a no, yeah, yeah. I think they were in the uh, four man. Uh, no, no, actually, no, maybe it was a regular fight. Cause it was a regular like, fight. Oh, it was the four man tournament, but no. Cause I think Rico was in it for the, Oh yeah. He lost to So, Oh, that's what it was. Tarek beat Levy Rigters in the tournament and then lost to Rico Verhoeven. Uh, mm-hmm. And then at the next event, Antonio Plaza bot did knock out Tariq Kabiz. Is Tariq going to be able to get revenge or is it another knockout for our Croatian boy? Um, and to me, man, I, if I'm Plaza bot, I don't know what, I don't know why he's taking his fight. He's like, bro, you guys just fought. No reason <laughs> for it. You're basically like the number one contender. Why are you taking this fight? Unless, Unless, unless it's just, hey, Glory, I want to fight. I'm really to smash anybody. I don't care type of deal, which, which, which kind of, which kind of knowing Plaza Bot, like he's kind of that dude. He's like, yo, I'll fight anybody. Who cares? All right, I knocked him out. I'll knock him out again. You know, like that's just him. Like he don't care. He's doing this. He's doing it. He's doing this all for Bada Harvey. Remember, he's doing it for Bada, as he always says, you know, that's his boy. So, uh, so yeah, I mean, I'm still, I'm still going with Plaza Bot, man. I mean, I mean, the tank, man, he trains at a good gym. Uh, you know, but I, I, I just, I, I just think, man, the height difference, everything like that too, man. Like he likes to try to get inside Plaza Bot, has, has a good jab, you know, stick him out and then boom, man, he just throws those bangers. Um, I just, I, I don't know, man. Again, I just, I just look at this fight. I'm just like, man, why is it happening? Like if I'm Plaza Bot, like give me somebody else. Like, I mean, like, dude, I just beat Benjamin Attic Bowie, you know? Yeah. Like, man, give me the champ or yo, give me. Give me uh Jabal um uh you know JBS man he didn't fight he's looking for a fight I'll take him you know Rickers is out you know being you know being dad I'll you know like I'm down for something like that but like 
this, I'm just like, eh, man. Like, but hey, man, if it, yo, but hey, if pause by getting paid, cool for him. You know, like I said, man, it's all about wait, the prize fighter. So he wants to get paid, let you know, let him get paid. Yeah, the end result of this fight, in, in terms of like now we're seeing it that it's booked, isn't lovely. But how we got here, because remember that Luis Tavares and Tariq were scheduled. Mm-hmm. And I believe fans complained enough that people were like, oh, okay, I get it. No problem. And then uh, uh, they, it sounds like they tried to offer Jamal Ben Sadiq a fight, but his management either said no or someone's making something up there. We really don't know what the truth is in that situation. Um, but then, yeah, this fight kind of got made. And it's one of those fights where you're like, I guess there's, was everybody else booked or is like, well, what? this is how we got here? Yeah, because yeah, because I want I want to yeah, because I want I want to say the thing with JBS was I think I think he was trying to say that they were trying to I think pay him less for the for the fight instead of what his normal pay was. That's why he was like, well, then why you know like why like why would I do that type of deal? So yeah, I mean it, it's yeah, I mean it's just so weird, man, with this event too. It's just like, come on, Glory, like I know. Like, why not? Like, I still don't know why you're not offering this fight up to people who maybe weren't able to order Glory 80. Maybe they were out or maybe they were actually, you know, there, you know, or, or you know, actually, no, I think people who were there can 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 still get it, I guess. Right. I man, I don't know, honestly. So I was uh, technically I, I was a ticket holder on behalf of media, but they haven't sent me information about how to access this. Um, I did ask, can I attend in person? And they said, no, like, it's not even open to media. Yeah, yeah. So, I don't know. I I work pretty closely with Glory, and I don't know the details here. <laughs> they haven't told me. Yeah, because I was I was just thinking about that because I'm like, well, I did order it, so I should be able to watch it. I haven't I haven't received anything lately, so I mean, I don't know. I don't know if it's just gonna be like that week up. They're gonna be like, hey, this is what you gotta type in or whatever. There's a code, or if you just go in, you just you know order because maybe because maybe, maybe they remember your I don't know IP address or something. I don't know. I'm assuming it's going to be something along those lines as well. Final week. Uh, the third fight on this card that we all expected there would be more fights announced as we got closer. It's just three fights. Uh, two fighters at heavyweight will be making their debut. You have the uh, the knockout bruiser from Britain. His name is uh, Rhys Brudenell. I spoke to him a little while back. Interview will be up later. I've been lazy. Been busy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that, yeah, so most of his fights are a first round knockout or a 30 second knockout. He's got about a dozen fights and he says, this is his biggest accomplishment, is making it into glory. His opponent is from Nigeria, Kevin Tariq Osario, who is uh, trains out of Mike's gym. Mm-hmm. So he yeah, trains along guys like Gokan Saki and uh, Jamal Ben Sadiq. So he's going to be extremely well trained. So honestly, if you keep adding these fun fighters to heavyweight, I'm quite happy. I know it's two guys debuting, but both of them are going to be absolutely awesome. I don't have a prediction for you, but it's going to be a fun fight that probably won't last more than a few minutes. What do you any, yeah. any input on this one? What do you think, man? Well, yeah, I mean, I'm going to say, dude, anybody, anybody, anybody that trains at Mike's gym, you know, they're going to be prepared. They're going to be a banger. You know, that's usually, that's usually how everybody is at Mike's gym, except for um, uh, uh, was it uh, Adam Chu? He's like he, he's 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 like he's like the only one from that gym who's not a banger, really. Yeah, you know, he tries to go out, try to knock you, you know, try to knock you out. But I mean, other than that, like I said, man, it should be a good fight. Heavyweights, like I said, to me, it seems like Glory is really investing into their heavyweight division because you keep seeing all these different heavyweights. You know, you're like, oh, where's this? Uh, where's this other person at that used to, you know, that was fighting? You don't see them anymore now. Now, 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 now it's like they got new people coming up. Because even uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Willness, you know, you saw Willness in the corner of some people at Glory, but I don't even think he's, but I don't think he's under contract with Glory anymore. I think his contract is up, you know, but he's still somebody, but I mean, he's still a name that you can still have in Glory as a heavyweight, you know, yep. but like I said, like I said, it seems like they're really investing into, into the, into the heavyweights, you know, so we shall see what happens with Glory. Like maybe, maybe, maybe that's what they're trying to do. They're really trying to really get big into the heavyweights. Like I said, you know, you still got Alistair Overeem out there. He's still waiting, you know. He's he's back training, you know. We you know we still you know we still have to see him fight. Um, yeah, you know, man, maybe he could be on one of these glory rival cards, you know, coming up. You know, especially that third one, you know, you know, that's back in Japan. You know, uh, bring back. Ooh, in the fight, ooh, you know? I didn't even think of that. You're right. That would be a good one. You know, but I mean, we shall we shall see. Like I said, I mean, I know the chatter is that a lot of them are, or should I say, the chatter, the rumors, whatever you want to go with. Is yeah. that Glory is saving a lot of their talent for their own shows, and like they're kind of giving a little bit to the Glory rivals, yeah. but 
when are they doing their own shows? I'm not hearing it. All we're hearing is Glory Rivals. Like we already know about Glory's one, two, and three. When's Glory 81 happening? <laughs> you know? Like I know. I agree with you. Like it, it seems like they are using it for like development, but like great, yeah. that's really good. Do that. But like you guys need some shows. Yeah, but then because I mean, dude, if I'm because like I mean legit, like if I'm Muhammad Jiraiya, I'm heated right now because remember he was rumored to be on Glory 80. You know, they were they they were looking for an opponent. Hey, Glory, remember, I raised my hand. I said I would do it. I step up. My passport was still good. Yep. You know, but hey, he wasn't there. Then 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 I thought, okay, maybe he would be on the Glory uh, studio event. He's not there. He's not on any rival card so far. So I mean, you got plenty of fighters who are itching to fight because you still got your middleweight champion. I see him posting on the gram. You know, he still hasn't fought. Vahitov was supposed to fight at Glory 80. He doesn't have anybody. Louis DeVars was supposed to fight him. Is fighting at Glory Rivals. You know, so it's like, so like these guys are getting fights, but then there's some people who haven't fight. Like, what about my guy, Jamie Bates? They just like did, a, I think, an Insta, uh, Instagram post about him knocking somebody out. And I'm like, yeah, Jamie Bates. He was like, kind of doing his thing and then you know and then and then and then they got shut down but it's like you had that guy well you know he hasn't fought in a minute so i mean they have plenty of guys on their roster who who are probably itching to fight want to get in there yo let's make these fight cards happen instead of giving us like two or two or three fights a card let, let you know let's go back to the days of hey glory super fight you know no, no let's go it was youtube prelims were like two or three fights then it was yep. your super fight series which was like five fights and then your main card was like another five fights like they used to do like 14, 14 uh, fights, uh, you know, a show, but hey, like I said, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not in the boardroom. I don't know what's going on, but I am excited for the studio event. I really am excited to see what happens with Glory Rivals, you know. So Wait, let let's sink our teeth into what you talked about there, because because you're right. Of like every time that we take something with Glory, of like, hey, what is going on with Glory? Let's pull out that thread a little bit more. As we keep pulling on the thread, we go, what what is going on here? Like, you know what I mean? I'm really excited for the next couple events that they have. They don't have anything actually scheduled outside of the studio event. And then there are collaboration events, which is great. Great to see because they're keeping their fighters busy. Um, I don't know. Like Bates and Hamicha are kind of left in the dust with the vacant welterweight division. But you can see that they're definitely moving Jay Overmere and Andy Semler into that welterweight title picture quite quickly. Mm -hmm. Why that is... Think about their infusion fighters. I feel like infusion must be making a lot of these bookings because they're the only fighters who are kind of like getting any motion, getting any movement. But yeah, Hamich is just hanging out with the vacant title. Yeah, but then, but but then, but then now, any similar though, like straight up said that he's like, oh, I'm with Glory now. So he's trying to say he's a Glory fighter. So it's yeah. like, did he sign a contract with Glory? So now he's under the Glory umbrella. So he's not really with infusion anymore. You know, like that's like that's why like I was bringing up to you like we were talking about. I was like I was that's why I, I was like I kind of like jokingly say I'm like yo, it's like Glory and Infusion about to merge and they're just not telling anybody because all their fighters are like just going to Glory and it's like oh yeah, I'm a Glory fighter now. Like Norton Ben Mo, you know, yeah. he just slowly was like oh hey, I'm I'm fighting, I'm with Glory now. So that's you. You're right. And I asked him of what's going on because I I asked them the question. Of, I'll have an interview up with Andy in the next couple of weeks once i get around yeah. to it. um but i asked him you he's kind of a uh he was like a three weight division champion in infusion and he's been with infusion for a long time and there yeah. was points where it looked like, like he was the infusion the face of infusion but he has opportunities to move to other organizations and i asked him would you ever move to a glory or move to a one and he says i am a glory fighter however he's not on the glory website on his instagram it says infusion contracted fighter I think they're framing him at Glory Rivals as he's the Infusion representative. Mm -hmm. But no one's made an announcement. If he is a Glory signing, that's a great sign. Get him in there with like guys like Hamicha and Bates yeah. and guys like this. That's all. Oh my God, could you imagine? I mean, that's, I mean, that's the thing. Like, I'm going. I'm, I'm going by what the fighters are saying because, like, hey, he yeah. he straight up told you he's a Glory fighter. He put it out on social media that he was a Glory fighter, and even same thing, same thing like Norton Ben Mo and them. Uh, I think is it was the same thing where they were saying like, yeah, I'm signed. I'm signed with Glory now. So it's like these guys are becoming glory fighters. Like I said, I don't know what's going on. I am intrigued wow. by it all. Hey, as long as I get to see good fights, I'm happy, which is what which is what we all want to see as good kickboxing fans. We want to yeah. just keep seeing the sport grow, see, see, see it keep getting the uh promotion that it needs, you know. So like I said, hopefully, you know, them coming together will help, you know, with glory rivals uh with with rise, you know, going over to Japan. 
you know, we'll maybe get back into that Japanese market, you know, so we'll see what happens. Well, let's hope we always want that resurgence and uh, we just want everything to be lovely. But yeah, Glory's got some stuff coming up and Fusion definitely has some cool stuff coming up to make sure to check that out. And then when we are back, we got a couple more shows to break down. We're going to be talking about the one championship Grand Prix. Let me check my kickboxing schedule quick because there's some other cool stuff. Oh, I mean, we're going to be talking about Glory Rivals coming up at the end of this month, right? We had the next time we're here. Yeah, May 21st, the next show, we're going to be talking about Glory Rivals 1. We're going to be talking about the Muay Thai Grand Prix, which will be a ton of fun. I am excited for that one. I have to say, don't you have uh, don't you have some news to tell the people about who you're going to be talking to? Oh, yes. Tomorrow on Kicking It, we have a special guest who is going to be on the in, in, uh, competing on 1, 157. He's going to be Joseph Lassiri from Italy, who I'm going to be speaking to. He is challenging for the title. He's a Lumpany Stadium champion. He's a European Muay Thai champion several times over. And now he's going to be challenging for the Muay Thai title against Petch, uh, give me a second, Petch Puck Morat. Let me, let, me, let me just verify that so I don't look like a fool. But yes, that'll be uh, tomorrow, which I believe... Uh, by the time everything goes to air, it'll probably be up in the next couple of couple of days kind of thing. Uh, but yeah, Mr. Joseph Lassiri, we're going to be talking to. He is fighting. Oh, sorry. Sorry. He's fighting Pranj, Prajachai Sanchai for, uh, for the straw weight Muay Thai title. Ooh, it's going to be a good one. So yeah, so we're going to be talking to him tomorrow on Kicking It with Tim and the Mechanic. It'll just be Tim and somebody else, though. <laughs> yeah, sorry, guys. You know, like I said, what? With my uh, training camp schedule, I can't I can't be there for the interview. But hey, you got the man, the myth, the legend, Tim, doing it. That's all you really need, man. He's 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 he, he, he's the better in, interviewer, you know, than than I am. So you'll be in good hands, guys. Just remember, man, just stay tuned to the network. Remember, like, subscribe, comment, let the people know who is the best kickboxing show on the planet. This is where you come for your kickboxing news and to and and to just get our thoughts on everything absolutely awesome brandon super appreciate your time links for everything will be down below and give them the last word where else what else all right guys like i said man please guys just follow me on social media instagram twitter uh you're saying b catino tsma like i said um i'm really getting uh like i said i'm really getting ready for this fight i'm really looking forward to this one uh it's gonna be a, a tough one but that's why we do this you know we always do this to try to test ourselves really want the support from you guys and like i said you really want to support us like i said like subscribe to the channel buy our merch kicking it represent the show represent the mechanic represent tim like i said uh represent fighters first you know like i said there's plenty there's plenty of other merch on the on the on the network besides ours so you're saying you might you might find somebody else that you might like uh so that's it i just want to say thank you guys again man let's keep growing this show like i said because of you guys for some reason one championship is into us they're giving us fighters to interview so we got to thank you guys um and yeah that's it. Uh, and also, too, be on the lookout. I think uh, Lion, Lion fights happening too. Remember, they're, they're making their Houston debut as well. We can't, we, we can't, we can't forget about Lion fight. Never. Lion fights is super good. They produce really good talent as well. They're yeah. good. They're going to be one to watch. All right. Cheers. Let's get out of here, man.